everyone. Today we are making yogurt. So this is our ingredients. I'm going to be making chocolate yogurt. First, I'm first I'm just going to science uh, experiment which we are going to be doing. So uh, we're going to explain to you how to make it and steps, history, and go into the details later. So here are the things you need: boiled water, and I'm also going to tell you the steps. Boiled? So, <laughs> here comes Amana. Amana the banana. A teensy weensy wind of yogurt. This is the inside is the bacteria which is gonna which is gonna help us to make yogurt. The bacteria. You might be thinking, how is the bacteria supposed to help? Actually, this is a good type of bacteria and it is called probiotics. We also need a jar to store our yogurt inside and here is the boiled milk. So, let's get started. Before we get started, I am going to tell you steps of making yogurt. Pour the milk in. Milk is warm. Okay, so now that we're done mixing, I'm going to tell you fermentation, which is most important part because it's like okay. So okay, so now I'm going to add the the anti I mean the probiotics. The probiotics in. And now this is going to give the milk its sour taste. And then this is going to help it become yogurt. So I'm going to be stirring, stirring for a while. Uh, can you tell what, uh, what, is, what is actually probiotic? So if you're again wondering what is probiotic, I can explain again. So probiotics is a good bacteria that is inside yogurt that will give us... That is give yogurt all the nutritional value and that is giving the yogurt all the nutritional value so probiotic is for good digestion nutrient nutrition value for yogurt and all that healthy stuff i added flavoring if you want vanilla vanilla flavoring if you want chocolate nutella or whatever chocolate thing you have at your home strawberry for straw heated for pan I'm going to put this in, we're going to put the, the yogurt in and then we're going to put a towel over it, a red towel and then, okay so look, we put our towel over it and don't turn on the stove, no need, just put, put this over it and then leave it, so let's go to my house. Now I'm going to be telling you how to make a vanilla, how to make vanilla yogurt. First I added the yogurt to and are you wondering why I added the yogurt? Uh, so we can put bacteria in the yogurt. No, no, it's not the bad bacteria, it's the good bacteria. Now we're going to be pouring the milk. Don't forget to heat it. Now vanilla essence. On the lid. milk plus good bacteria this is my yogurt you guys leave a comment down below what should i name my yogurt i bet you guys can help me the scientific explanation of my yogurt so first i want to tell you a little bit about the history of, of yogurt okay the history of yogurt Yogurt was invented a long time ago in Turkey. People used to use animal stomachs to, in an attempt to travel around, around and transport, transport it to different places. But so unfortunately they traveled in hot deserts and the milk became sour. But 
why, but it tasted pretty good. But there's one thing. So why do now commercial steps? We showed you the homemade steps, now the commercial steps. Sterilization, kill bad bacteria. There's like some big giant machine pot, they add milk in it. A lot of milk, so they can make hundreds of different yogurts. And then and then uh, to sterilization, the same thing but pasteurization. To further further destroy the bad bacteria. Any bad bad bacteria that was hiding from sterilization, that will be dead in pasteurization. So now home gestation. That's stirring the milk more properly. So so the good bacteria mixed yeah. properly. So now fermentation most most important step of yogurt because yogurt is a fermented product. Fermentation is a chemical breakdown of a substance. Fermentation. There is a special sugar called lactose and then the probiotics get added making lactic acid. Probiotics, I told you it's good bacteria. Fermentation making yogurt sour. Most of you know yogurt is sour. So, lactose is milk sugar, so now let's move on. Coagulation, liquid into semi-solid. That means the, the mixed milk with different things. So liquid into semi-solid is coagulation, meaning milk into not liquid or solid. Semi-solid is in between, like yogurt. So that means it made yogurt. But there's two more extra steps. You can do it. You can do it if you want. Flavorings and packaging. We're gonna do both these two. You saw that I added the Nutella to make it chocolate, and one added vanilla essence to make it vanilla. So, so that, so now, now, so now, packaging. Packaging is. Uh, putting it in a package. That's why we you, we used jars and You can do labels too. We're gonna do that also when we are going to see our yogurt Because right now it's gonna be hot Today we're going to show you the results of our yogurt. So I'm going to show you show you our tag, our tag, and then I'm going to explain a lot of things about it. For example, why do we have to do tagging? So this is my tag. You don't always need to write nutrition values. Sometimes you can also write nutrition facts or both. So look. So here is nutrition fact. Yogurt help yogurt helps with digesting. My yogurt's name is going to be Yums. I made a smile face. Just, just the the key of making tag is to make something eye catching to attract customers. So look, MFG. Manufacturing date. Nineteenth of August. Expiry date twenty second of August. You might be wondering how do the stores make it more last more longer? Well, that's something called preservatives, chemicals, different things that will make it last longer. You see, they put on shelf. It lasts longer on shelf shelves because people sometimes don't even take it. So, manufacturing date, expiry date, second of August. 
Read, I wrote something here. Freshly homemade organic. I also made some designs at the ends. So now I'm gonna tell you. Look. I made chocolate yogurt. A little bit get the chocolate, but that's okay. So you can also listen my yogurt, it became semi-solid. I didn't add I didn't add the same amount I was supposed to add. So that's why it's not completely chocolate. So here's my now let's show you the results of our yogurt. First, I added the tag Yo Yogi. I named it Yogi. Expiry date 22 of August. Okay. Now let me show you how it tastes. This is how my yogurt turned out. It's vanilla, that's why it has no color.